This full body stretch is going to help you relax, increase your flexibility, as well as reduce your risk of injuries while training. Now, the only thing you need for our stretch today is going to be a mat or a cushy surface. And then optional, if you are working to increase your flexibility, is a small towel. So have this handy for some of the stretches. And with that, we're going to get into our first stretch. So just getting yourself comfortable on the ground in a seated position. We're going to take our hand here reaching it for your ear. So taking your ear down towards your shoulder and with this opposite arm, you're gonna stretch and reach away. So just gently pulling that head down towards, or the, your ear down towards your shoulder as you reach away. Feeling this through the neck and your trapezius muscles here. This is such a good one. This is a great stretch to do if you find yourself on your phone or on the computer often, or just kind of looking down. This will help loosen up all of those muscles right here. And we're gonna hold all of our stretches today for about 30 to 40 seconds. That is the time we need to really start to stretch and release and increase that flexibility. We're gonna switch it in three, two, and one. So just gently letting that head come back to center, opposite side now, taking that ear down towards your shoulder and extending with that other arm out. Now, while we're stretching, you do want to feel some tension in the muscle, but you never want to feel pain. So if you do feel pain, just let yourself out of that stretch and then you can come back to it. And breathing throughout here. And as you exhale, that's a really good time to try to take your stretch just a little bit deeper if you can. Again, really think about extending with that hand so you can get that nice deep stretch. We're gonna switch it up here in three, two, and one. So from here, we're gonna take those legs out into a V position. Just taking your V as wide as you can, we're gonna start to walk it towards the center. You can bring it down onto your forearms. You can reach it out farther, wherever your flexibility allows with this one. Even if you're just sitting up, you just want to feel this nice stretch through your legs. And breathing. And then again, as you breathe and exhale, try to take that stretch even deeper. And this next stretch is where if you've got your towel and you want to use that, you can do that. So let's bring it up. Here's three, two, and one. From here, if you wanna use your towel, you're gonna to take one leg in towards the center, keeping this other leg out. Use your towel here and you can wrap it around the bottom of your foot and you can use this to pull forward. Now you might not need to use your towel and if not, you're gonna reach for those toes, just gently pulling back on the toes as well here so you can feel that stretch through the calf and the ankle. Reaching forward. But again, the towel is always an awesome tool to use as you're working to grow in your flexibility. We're gonna get ready to switch it to the other side next. So same thing, you can use that towel if you need. Switching it over here in three, in two, and one. So gently coming back to that Center position, bringing that leg in, other leg comes out here. If you're using that towel, just gently wrapping it around your foot and using that to pull. If not, grab onto those toes and pull those toes back towards you so you feel that through the calf and the ankle as well. Exhale, try to take it a little bit deeper. We're almost through this stretch on this side. Good, here's three, two, and one. Let's bring it back center. We're gonna go into a seated position. However you feel comfortable, you can take the soles of your feet together or just how you feel comfortable. We're gonna take and clasp our hands here behind, reaching back, and as you reach, look down, bringing your chin down towards your chest. So feeling this through your back, and opening up the chest here and just breathing. 
keeping your back straight. You don't want to round or arch your back. So make sure you're keeping good posture throughout our stretches. Releasing this in three, two, and one. So coming back center, next stretch, we're gonna stretch through the upper body. So just opening up the arms here, really reaching those fingertips. And then we're gonna take one arm across, crossing it over. Now, as you take this arm across, you're just gonna look over that shoulder. Breathing here. Sitting up nice and tall. Keeping your shoulder relaxed and down away from your ear as well with this one. So you don't want your shoulders kind of creeping up on you. Relax the shoulders. We're gonna switch it to the other side in three, in two, and one. So let's take those arms back out wide again, really reaching here. Now we're gonna take that other arm across. Looking over that shoulder, sitting up nice and tall, relaxing the shoulders. Coming out of the stretch here in three, two, and one. So opening it up again, just really reaching here. From here, we're gonna take the legs out. We're gonna work through the spine here and a little bit into the glutes. So legs are gonna be out. We're gonna take one leg across. So crossing that leg over, opposite arm is gonna come here and we're gonna twist. Breathing, sitting up nice and tall, keeping that back straight. Now to take this stretch a little bit deeper, you can just work that hand that's on the ground back and around a little bit more to get a deeper twist into the spine. We're gonna get ready to switch it to the other side next. In three, in two, and one. So just gently letting yourself come back to center here. That leg comes out, other leg comes across, and we're gonna get that twist in. Twisting it here. And again, working that hand around to get a deeper stretch. Holding it for three, two, and one. Gently coming back towards center. Now we're gonna roll on to our back. This is gonna be another stretch where if you've got your towel, you can use that because we're gonna be working through the back of our legs, our hamstrings here. So let's bring it down to the back. Now with this one, a little less here, you're gonna keep one leg bent and bring that leg up. Again, you can use the towel to take this stretch even deeper. You will let that one leg come down. So making an L with your legs, trying to keep this leg straight. And then from there, you can even, if you don't have your towel, if you're not using your towel, just clasp those hands right behind your leg there. Keeping that foot flexed and then pointed. So working between a point and a flex here. And you will feel that work through the front of the leg and then through the back of the leg with that pointed and flexed foot. Ooh, this is a good one. Tight hamstrings can lead to all sorts of troubles. So keeping those hamstrings nice and loose is gonna be so beneficial. We're gonna switch it to the other side in about three, two, and one. So gently letting that leg come down. So remember the couple of options. You can keep that one leg bent if you need to do that, as that leg comes up, or you can straighten that bottom leg. You can also use your towel to hold onto to give you a little, little bit more leeway there. Breathing, we're pointing and flexing that toe, just working between that. And another thing, 
Working that ankle flexibility as we have here with the pointed and flexed toe. If your ankles are tight, it will actually decrease your mobility when it comes to squatting and will prevent you from getting that full range of motion. So even having um, some flexibility in the ankles, super important. Flexibility is just as important as your workout. So don't forget that because I know sometimes it's like, Ugh, it's boring, who needs to stretch? But <laughs> it makes a huge difference. We've got three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna stay on our back here. Next stretch we're gonna do, we're gonna hug one leg in. So hug that leg into your body and we're gonna take and cross it over. So we're gonna drop that knee down towards the floor. Getting a nice rotation in here. Your arm is out nice and long and just breathing into this. This is one of my favorite stretches. I could just lay here all day like this. Good, so feeling the stretch through the low back into the spine, even into the glutes here. And breathing. We're gonna switch it to the other side next. Let's hold it for about three, two, one. Now just slowly bring it back to center, working that center. You can give that leg a nice little hug in again and then let it extend. Other leg comes in, tuck it in and then cross it over, using that arm for a little bit of support here, leverage to help you get that twist, and then dropping it down. And then holding and relaxing. forget as you exhale you can try to take things a little bit deeper getting a little bit deeper into that twist rolling it back to the back in three two and one let's roll it center next one now we're really gonna get a little bit deeper into this tuck so go ahead and bring this leg in opposite leg we're tucking now you can even reach for the foot and tuck it in or you can just hold it trying to bring that leg in nice and close here to your body. So a couple of options, just holding that tuck in, kind of coming towards the outside here of your body. You can grab towards the toe and pull down. Go ahead, feeling this through the hips. We're gonna switch it to the other side here in three, two, and one, letting that leg come out long. Whew, other side, let's tuck it in. So again, just tucking that leg in. If you wanna use the foot here for a little bit more leverage, you can do that. Breathing. We're gonna switch it to a sideline quadricep stretch next in three, two, and one. Ooh, letting that leg come out now. From here, we're gonna roll it onto the side. Body nice and long here. We're just gonna take and reach for that ankle. This is another one where if you needed to use a towel to give you a little bit more length there, you can always do that and just hold onto that towel, letting that leg stretch, but if you can get a hold of your ankle there, you can do that. Now with this stretch to get a little bit deeper into your hip flexors and quads, think about squeezing your glutes. So tighten up your glutes, keeping your knees in line. So you don't want your knee coming forward or too far back right here. We wanna keep things in line. We're gonna switch it to the other side next. Switching it over here in three, two, and one, letting that leg gently come out. Now let's switch it over, other side. Bringing it down here. Again, using that towel or holding onto that ankle. Top of your foot here. Breathing, tighten up those glutes, feel that deep stretch.
We're almost through our stretch for the day and I don't want to say that because this has been so enjoyable. We're going to do a prone hip opener stretch next. This one is so good. So we're going to roll it on to our bellies. And from here, when you're up on all fours, I guess I should say up on all fours, you're going to take those legs out. So widen your legs here. Try to keep your legs parallel so you don't want your heels or feet coming in towards each other. Keep them parallel. And then you're going to take and walk it down onto your forearms. Now, maybe you can just hold it here. If you want to take it a little bit deeper, you can walk it out farther here. But what you want to think about is bringing that bum down towards the ground, really opening up here through the inner thighs and your hips. So breathing, we're keeping a flat back as well. So you don't want to round your back, arch your back. So really think about dropping that bum down. Holding it for three, two, and one. Oh, let's bring it up. That was awesome. That was so enjoyable. I'm so glad we could do this together. We should feel relaxed. We should feel a little bit more flexible and just ready to take on the day. Thank you so much for joining me for this stretch. Again, this is gonna be a perfect stretch to do on the regular. So you can increase your flexibility and just all the goodies that come along with that. Thank you again for joining me. I love ya.